Accelerate View monitoring platform. The Accelerate View has a nickname also known as AView. So I will be referencing to the Accelerate View platform as AView in this video just for shortness and uh, so I don't have to repeat myself all the time. This is uh, just the overview page of the Accelerate View on our Accelerate Concepts company website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the AView site and we'll go ahead and go show the login page. Okay, so logging in is based on email and password credentials. Uh, if you for some reason have lost your password, you can click this lost password link and type in the email address that you use to log into the AV system. If you have forgotten the email that you use to log in, uh, I would suggest I would suggest contacting someone with Accelerated Concepts or whoever helped set you up with Accelerated View. And once you type in that email address and send send reset instructions, the Accelerated View will actually email that email address with the password reset instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the system here. Once you log into the system, the first page you're brought to is this dashboard page. And the dashboard page is meant to show all the devices that you can view that are in an alert status. So devices that are down. So that's why they show up as red icons on this map. You know, if I click one of these icons, it'll actually show some additional details for that device, such as the site ID, the device ID or MAC address of the device, um, as well as the organization that it's associated with. The buttons at the top detail all the different devices that the user can access and then what state they are in. So they kind of give you a count of all the different devices in certain states. The total devices that I can access are listed here in this first column of 19 devices. And of those devices, uh, there's a certain number that are up. So up details a device that is checking into AVU and can be monitored by AVU. Down devices indicate devices that have not checked into AV recently and have gone, either gone offline or somehow are not being able to be monitored by AV. Unreachable devices indicate devices that have not been, that have not responded recently but have yet, yet not gone to a down state. This uh, applies to VPN gateway devices uh, that get probed every so often. Deployed devices and undeployed devices are kind of a unique state. Deployed devices indicate a device that should be monitored by AVU. Undeployed devices means that the device will not be monitored by AVU. The, the, the device will still check into AVU. You can still view the device and it will still function as the same as a deployed device. The only difference being that if a device goes down or if a, it's some kind of alert would be generated for the device, if it's undeployed, that alert will not actually be sent out. So it won't actually generate an alert for the device if it changes state or something happens to it. And undeployed is used to mark devices that are either being staged or devices that are in transit or devices that have known to have an issue so we don't need to receive alerts on them. If you scroll down past the map page, it'll actually give you a list of the devices that are in a down state. So that kind of corresponds with the devices that are listed on the map. So if I kind of zoom out here, you can actually see that there are probably other down devices in other regions. And also, if you didn't want to click and drag, you can easily pick a certain region of the globe here. And it kind of gives you a quick view of that without having to click and drag on the map. And anytime you see an index like this with the uh, rows and columns, you can actually export this index to a CSV file for any sort of reporting you need to provide to users or customers. This map page can also be filtered. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it. The organizations I have access to, if I pick this drop down, I'll be able to see them here. So you can see there's a couple different organizations that my user has access to. If I click just one of them, it'll filter this 
view based on just showing the down devices that are in this particular organization or an organization underneath it. You can also filter by categories of devices. So say I only want cellular and gateway devices. And then you can even filter further by specifying the particular model of device that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and leave a couple of them checked and hit filter. And you can see that the ones that were listed on the map are now gone. Since they're not associated with this organization. So the header toolbar up here. The header toolbar is present on all pages of the AVU site. So if you went to any page, this top bar up here with the search, support, account, and logout buttons will always be here. Similar to how the navigation bar that's on the left will always be there. So the support button will actually give you a link to a support email address for Accelerated View that you can use to contact support if you have a question about the system. The account button contains all the details for your specific user that you log in with. You can specify a time zone. Changes in time zone causes any event that is displayed here to, to be reflected in your time zone that you selected. So for example, if events flow in, even if that device is in a different time zone, the events will appear to you in your time zone as designated here, simply just for convenience. That way you can understand what time events happens without having to convert time zones. The Buttons for notifications enabled and maps enabled. If, for example, on that dashboard page or in this maps page, you just did not want any maps displayed at all, you can actually disable that here. Notifications, if you set up notifications for your user to receive alerts on particular devices or organizations, you can actually disable those temporarily. So if you're going on vacation or if you were doing something where you did not want to have any notifications for the time being, you can disable those and enable those on demand. If you need to change your password, you can do that here as well. Your notification subscriptions and profiles list subscriptions for the devices you currently want to receive alerts on or organizations you want to receive alerts on. Since this is my demo user, I have not set up any subscriptions yet. We will get to that later. The notification profiles are where you create certain profiles of notifications that you would like to apply to devices or organizations. We'll actually get to notification setup later. So just a note that any profile you create here can be applied to multiple devices. And the information page is an email address. This is the email you use to sign to the system. And it's also the email that will be used to send out any alerts from the AVU system to your email. So this email address will receive any alerts that you have subscribed to here in the AV system. The maps page is similar to the dashboard page. Uh, the only difference is that it shows all the devices in, in different states, whereas the dashboard page was meant to just display down devices or devices that are in an alert state. So you can see, noted by the different colors of icons on the map, that it shows all the devices that are available that I can view and the status of them are listed but noted by these color icons. So if I click on one of them, you can also get a view of the device, what organization is in, what device ID is in, in the site. Similar to the filter on the dashboard, you can also filter this view on sub-organizations. So if I want to filter on the same sub-organization as I did before, you can specify specific categories and models within those categories. And then the deployments, let's go ahead and pick deploy devices. And then you can also select the particular status of the device. So if you're only concerned with devices that are up, you can do that by selecting this. And once you have all your filters selected, you click filter. And you can see that the map was filtered just to show the devices that I was interested in. And again, I can click on it and find additional details about that device. And then once I'm done looking at the devices. If I want to change the filter, I can do that on the fly. Or if I just want to reset the filter, I can hit the reset button.